successfully chairing your ICS annual scientific meeting session. This educational module is part of ICS commitment to faculty development and is designed to help session chairs in their role for ICS. As with anything, preparation is the key to a successful session. There are guidelines for each category of ICS session, whether that be a poster or podium presentation. Familiarise yourself with each. Ensure that you're familiar with the proposed content of the session to which you've been allocated. Make sure you're happy with the scientific content of the session and feel able to make a contribution to the scientific debate if called to do so. If you're uncomfortable with your allocation, let the organisers know well in advance of the meeting so that reallocations can be made if needed. You should contact your co-chair before the session to agree how you're going to chair the session between you so that things run smoothly on the day. Read the abstracts relating to your session beforehand. The ICS encourages presenters to upload their posters and presentations to the ICS website, so you can also view these. Make some notes on each and prepare one or two questions on the abstract before the session so that you can initiate the discussion whilst the audience collect their thoughts. Immediately before the start of the session, meet with the presenters to ensure that they're present, to make sure you know who is presenting each abstract, and that you know how to pronounce unusual names. Confirm the running order with the presenters and be prepared to juggle things around if there's a justified reason for doing so. Don't forget to familiarise yourself with the equipment on the podium. You may need to coach the presenters as they come in to present. Remember, you are in charge of running the session. Once you've settled down the audience, introduce yourself, your co-chairman and make any necessary housekeeping announcements. Let the audience know the rules for the session, the timing, use of slides and time for questions. Make sure that questioners know to approach the microphone and state their name and institution before asking their question. Remind the presenters that in line with ICS policy, that they must include a declaration of interest slide or announce these should this slide be unavailable. Introduce each speaker and the topic to be presented. Make sure the speaker sticks to the rules of the session. You may need to time the presentation for your co-chairman and be prepared to intervene should the speaker not be sticking to time. After each presentation, you may like to sum up the key findings or make a provocative comment to the audience before opening up the topic for questions and discussion. Encourage questions from the floor, but use one of your pre-prepared questions should things make a slow start to enable the audience to gather their thoughts and come to the microphones. Remember to help the presenter out with the questions if he or she can't hear or occasionally understand the questions being asked of him or her. You should protect the speaker from unruly questioning from the audience. Again, remember that you're in control of the session and can interrupt at any time. Your co-chairman should be help you to spot questions from the audience during the question period to ensure that there's a fair selection from those wanting to ask a question. Don't worry too much if the only question is from the chair. Sum up and move on to the next presenter. After each one, thank the speaker and provide a comment which allows a smooth transition between presentations before moving on to the next speaker. At the end of the session, thank all the speakers again and thank the audience for their participation. Don't forget to fill in the speaker evaluation and any prize nomination form before you leave the room. If you want further information, the following references and link are a good source of guidance. Thank you for listening.